If there's one thing better than a smart computer, it's a smart ass computer. Remember Watson, IBM's super smart thinking computer that utterly dominated at Jeopardy against the greatest players of all time? Well, would you believe at one point the computer sounded less like this? Worst actress of the decade went to this celebutante for films including House of Wax and The Hottie and The Naughty. What is Paris Hilton? And more like this. rock a -bye baby on the treetop. Your mother's a whore, I ain't your pop. <laughs> See, it all happened back in 2011 when Eric Brown, the research scientist in charge of Watson, was tasked with the ultimate challenge of not only making a computer think, but be able to carry on a conversation with a human being. Only problem is, people tend to use a lot more slang in their day-to-day -day conversations. According to Brown, as humans, we don't realize just how ambiguous our communication is. So how did IBM solve this problem? By making Watson memorize all of UrbanDictionary.com. On paper, this was a great idea. Watson could learn everyday slang like hot mess or OMG, which in turn would easily enable him to have conversations with anyone, no matter what the vernacular. But then again, this is Urban Dictionary we're talking about here. And as anyone who's spent 45 seconds on the site will tell you, it's the last place you want to send anyone to learn anything intelligent. Soon Watson was learning words like asshat, lady boner, front butt, and ugly cry. To make matters worse, Watson started reading Wikipedia and picked up even more bad habits, finally getting to the point where Watson answered a researcher's question by saying, bullshit. So what did IBM do? First, they washed out Watson's mouth with soap by developing a filter that would prevent it from swearing. Then, they went the extra mile and completely wiped all of the data collected from Urban Dictionary. But hey, at least IBM learned how difficult it's going to be for future artificial intelligence to communicate naturally with humans. Though, it is a total bummer we'll never get to see Watson answer this on Jeopardy. If Andy yearns for Brenda, and Brenda cares about Charlene, who pines for Andy, the three of them form one of these. Kara. What is that, threesome? Mm, no. <laughs> so, do you think it's important for computers to learn human slang, or is it better that they speak the language properly? Let us know in the comments below. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, I would really wish that Watson sounded like Andrew Dice Clay.